I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. If you're new to this channel, welcome, come aboard, learn about what we do. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. On this channel, I like to focus on sharing a lot of information in short periods of time with high school and college students so that they can build a meaningful resume so that they can become more competitive and actually learn how to separate themselves from the pack. I share information on internships, scholarships, REUs, conferences, and anything else that may be um, a game changer for students. If you like this kind of information, please, please, please support the channel by giving me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and especially on the YouTube platform. I do share this across platforms. So I do want to just give you some information today. I'm going to be speaking specifically to the college students. You know, we are in March. If you do not have anything lined up within your career goal or within your major, and you're thinking, well, you know, we're in the spring semester, what can I do to better position myself? You may not have heard back from certain places yet. You know, what can I do to just put myself in a better situation so that when I apply in the early fall next year for the following summer, what can I do? So there are some places still open for um, internships and it really depends. So I'm just gonna give you some suggestions on what you can be doing. And like I said, you may be waiting to hear back from places you've applied to. Some places have not notified you yet, but you know, why wait and put all your eggs in one basket? I'm like the old people, as I'm old, as you see my hair, a bird in hand is better than two in the bush. So we're gonna talk about what can you do? If you attend an HBCU, there's still some um, internships available around the country. Doesn't mean it's where you're gonna be living, but someone will help pay for you to get there um, to work on these internships. So Greening Youth Foundation, they still have their HBCU internship program with, um, sites available. Some sites have just been listed in March. So we're in March now, so they're still listing. So that's specifically for students who attend at HBCU. For any student, you can look at your local city, municipality. You know, a lot of times they offer internships. Some of them are paid, some of them are not paid, but they could be um, great experiences for you to get your hands um, and, you know, doing what it is you think you want to do, or networking. So it gives you a chance to get some practical experience that put on your resume, which makes you a better candidate for next year. Think about activities that you like to do. You know, um, I, I used to actually be a Girl Scout my whole life growing up, and I actually wound up having a career with Girl Scouts at two different Girl Scout councils. And I know that sometimes they have interns um, come in and help. So, you know, think about something that you've already been a part of. Maybe you can intern there and you may want to do it from a different perspective. So if you are with a, um, a organization and you're a business major, maybe you don't want to participate in the, in the activity anymore. You may want to work in the business office as an intern, if possible. Talk to your professors. A lot of your professors, you know, they have friends that are, uh, in other universities. Um, they may have friends that have connections that may have internships available or other opportunities. Maybe it's a conference, you know, but talk to your professors because they often have um, a foot in the door for you. Talk to your professors not only about outside opportunities, are they looking for someone to help them with research at, at the university in the summer, especially if you live close by and you can commute? You know, I don't know if they have money to pay for housing, but see what you can do as far as if you can commute to school or sometimes professors have money for housing and you may not be able to get paid, but just living on the campus in the summer for free and able to do some research or participate. Last case scenario is you may want to volunteer with doing something um, similar. Reach out also to, you know, if you are a newly graduated person from high school, 
reach out to your school counselor or a teacher that you had there. Um, I'm a high school counselor, so I know that a lot of times I know who's looking for high school interns. And even though they look for high school interns, sometimes they're looking for college interns and their friend at that organization may be running that program. So you have to get your foot in where you can. Again, if you're just getting, I'm starting to work on your internship for, for summer of 2022, and this is late for college students, just do one of these, you know, try to do some of the things I've just suggested. And then, you know, you get started in August and September for summer of 2023. So worst case scenario is that you may not do 40 hours a week, that you may volunteer and maybe only do 15 hours a week, especially if it's um, not being, you're not being paid, and then you can go work somewhere else. But you really want to do, you don't want to be running around getting coffee, making Xerox copies. I mean, you can get a kindergarten kid to do that. You really want to be putting your, you know, hands into it. Uh, and the other organizations that hire, if you live near private schools, sometimes they're looking for an intern. Um, private high schools, especially if you attended one of these schools. So there's a lot of opportunities. Think outside the box, reach out. And when you talk to people and you're reaching out, tell them you're looking for an opportunity to have real life hands-on experience. You want to build a meaningful resume. You don't want to just come in and do things that just be a typical volunteer. You're really trying to um, learn how to implement the work that you have been that, that you've been learning and you want to learn how to you know just apply that to a real life career um, again if you go to a hbcu look at the greening youth foundation sometimes uh any organization part um businesses contact them if you live close look on their website see you can contact contact hr but you have to start reaching out now because you want to have something lined up so that when you come, when your school year ends, you can go right into this and, you know, volunteer for eight to 10 weeks or get a paid internship for eight to 10 weeks, but start doing the, the legwork now. If you are going to be a senior, look at some of my prior videos about graduate schools, not too late to go there, um, law school, look and see what you can do. You can always um, email me on my email address. I'll try to remember to put it into this link as well as some of the suggestions I've listed. Good luck to everybody. And remember, share this information. Everyone needs to be building a meaningful resume so that they don't graduate college and are floundering just looking for a job. We want everyone to have the career of their choice and to um, use college as a stepping stone to propel you to a higher place. Good luck to everyone. And until next time, take care.